Are you looking for a great budget AV receiver? In this video, we take a look at the 5 best budget AV receivers on the market in 2022. These receivers will give you great sound and enough features to get you started. So if you're looking for a great value, be sure to check out these receivers. So, let's get started. At number 1 is Sony SDR-DH790. This receiver has many impressive features, but its most appealing aspect is its affordable price. While it is the only 7-channel receiver in my test, I was unsure how well it would satisfy both movie lovers and audiophiles. The first feature that deserves praise is the Biamp, which allows you to use a pair of rear or height speakers to get Dolby Atmos and DTS X surround sound. This feature worked perfectly for me when I tested it. You must, however, accept a compromise when choosing this receiver. Considering the power output of 90W-6 ohms, it requires speakers with a nominal impedance of at least 6 ohms. Anything lower does not work properly. Secondly, except for the front left and right channels, all channels use spring-loaded terminals rather than screw terminals, which drastically reduces the number of wires you can use. The decision surprised me, but I believe it was made to save money. Signal quality up to 4K at 60Hz can be achieved using any of the four HDMI inputs. Although there are no analog video outputs, there are four analog audio inputs and coaxial and optical digital audio outputs. I was disappointed to find that there was no Wi-Fi available. Bluetooth saves the situation a little. However, upon turning on the receiver, I saw a list of modes watch. Listen, easy setup, sound effect, and speaker setting. It is very easy to set up the device for work because of the intuitive menus. Auto calibration has been enabled. An excellent feature, this determines the size and distance of speakers from the listening position, sets their level, and adjusts equalizer settings. Amazing. It was mind-blowing in terms of audio quality. All sound effects were incredibly realistic and I was totally blown away by the Atmos sounding. It is slightly ahead of its direct competitor, the Denon AVR S650H. While listening to music, I switch between all available modes with great results. At number 2 is Yamaha RXV385. Yamaha was founded in 1887, and since then, it has become one of the most renowned manufacturers of audio equipment. This brand has a wealth of experience and a solid reputation, so I expected a state-of-the-art receiver. With its robust design and durable internal components, the Yamaha RXV385 is a great AV receiver. This unit is designed to be part of a 5.1 home theater system with a power output of 70 watts and 8 ohms. High-resolution audio is delivered by a proprietary IPAL instrument that adapts sound settings according to the current environment. During testing, I attach a mic in listening mode with IPAL turned on and I got immediate customization especially if you are a novice user with little understanding of what is what. This is a very handy option. It deserves many compliments that the device is fully compatible with the latest HDMI standards. Streaming 4K video at 60 frames per second is easily handled. Watching the movie with the ER gave me a really rich sound experience. It was as if I was taking part in the battle and traveling in the spaceship myself. When you activate the Biamp connection, you have more control over the frequency ranges of speakers and independent amplifiers. Furthermore, it provides power to the front speakers and eliminates interference between high and low frequencies. It was a nice feature to have while listening to songs, regardless of which streaming platform I used. At number 3 is Denon AVR-S650H. Denon AVR-S650H is the newest model in the S lineup. The X-Series includes extensive networking capabilities, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi interfaces, Apple AirPlay 2, EOS Multi-Room, and eARC. Aside from web-based control and mobile apps, it boasts voice control capabilities, Amazon Alexa, Apple Siri, Google Assistant. This receiver caught my eye when I looked through its specs, and I couldn't resist testing it thoroughly. I'm blown away by the video technology of this cutie. With CEC for Smart TV, the HDMI switcher supports current video formats of 4K, 3D, HDR, HLG, Dolby Vision. The responsiveness of this new product will appeal to gamers, so it offers more than other receivers in its price range. Numerous sound-enhancing features will appeal to audiophiles. Playback of high-res, 
Dolby True HD, and DTS HD Master audio is supported by Denon AVR S650H. A separate speaker can also be adjusted using the built-in DSP, which feature tremendous equalizer customizations and filters. An Odyssey Multi-EQ Auto Calibration System for an external microphone is another highlight. There are two RC Align inputs and a separate connector for connecting a turntable to the analog interface. Two subwoofers and five amplifiers can be connected using available outputs. A total of five channels can deliver power up to 75 watts in stereo mode. Such a value is sure to please even the most demanding consumers. At number four is Sony SDR-DH590. Sony claims the SDR-DH590 will boost your home theater system's audio experience and enhance your media consumption experience. Do you think that's true? Aside from 4K HDR pass-through, custom surround sound, and Dolby Vision, this 5.2-channel AV receiver also features Dolby Vision, a CD player, Blu-ray player, and different speakers were used to build a robust system using Bluetooth and multiple inputs. It works flawlessly with both wired and wireless connections. As I watched the movie, I was amazed by the high dynamic range. In the images, the dark and light areas were more detailed and the images were sharper and more vibrant. There are many similarities between this model and its older brother, Sony SDR-DH790, in terms of supporting HDR standards such as HDR10, Hybrid Log Gamma, and Dolby Vision. With its S-Force PRO front surround technology, the receiver creates virtual surround sound with just two speakers. Although my studio isn't large, the function worked flawlessly. Additionally, digital cinematic auto calibration function optimizes the sound based on your location relative to the speakers. That's gorgeous. With six ohm speakers, the power output is 90 watts per channel. In order to create a medium-sized home theater system, you will need this amount of equipment. At number 5 is Denon AVR S540BT, another great 5.2-channel AV receiver with many interesting features. A 4K upscaling feature turns your room into a cinema-like environment with Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG technologies. HDCP 2.2 support is available for HDMI input supporting 4K slash 60HC. Additionally, there's a USB port for connecting smart devices and listening to music without sound distortion. The receiver offers Bluetooth features if you prefer wireless connection methods. There was no problem with either the wired or wireless connections that I tested. It is extremely easy to set up, unlike more advanced receivers, as there are no confusing settings. To make the unit work as I needed, I activated the on-screen setup assistant and followed its instructions. I appreciate the dedicated equalizer that adjusts the sound according to the current environment. As a result, if you plan to take this receiver from one place to another, it will deliver beautiful sound no matter where you are. The Denon AVR S540 BT outputs 70 watts when paired with 8 ohm speakers and 90 watts when paired with 6 ohm speakers. Regardless of where I was standing, I enjoyed how powerful and encompassing the sound was while listening to music. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.